Hello and welcome to a discussion on the financial statements. In this session we will try to understand the effect of deferred taxes on the financial statements. But before that let us address these three questions. What is deferred tax? Why is deferred tax? And how is deferred tax calculated? Deferred tax is uh, deferred tax is a tax on the timing differences timing differences on the word deferred tax is on the difference between the tax profit between tax profit and accounting profit arising out of arising out of the timing differences so timing differences is uh, due to the timing difference is due to the timing differences arise due to arise uh, due to due to the accounting assumptions accounting assumptions used um, for accounting assumptions for depreciation for COGS for amortization and other related items or lease okay so when the accounting assumptions adopted for taxation are not same as accounting assumptions for account for preparing the financial statements you come across the timing differences and accounting for taxation says that there is a need to show the tax on that and that is called the deferred tax why deferred tax to be shown as we mentioned the accounting profit accounting profit is not same as same as tax profit so there is a need to inform to the shareholder uh, there is a need to uh, inform to the um, to the shareholders that the profit is different due to the accounting assumptions accounting assumptions then that is the deferred tax so DT is required to inform to the shareholders that the company is adopting a different um, accounting assumptions for computing the taxation and how is deferred tax calculated Deferred tax is calculated as tax rate into the timing difference or temporary differences and it is necessary to calculate individual items because in some cases the accounting, pro accounting expense may be more, in some other cases accounting expenses may be less than the tax expenses. Since the expense shown in the income statement, okay, so in the income statement in the income statement it is necessary to show the current tax and the deferred tax income statement will show the deferred tax and the will show will show the following the current tax is a tax as per the tax profit which is a statutory obligation whereas the deferred tax is a tax on the timing difference which is not a statutory obligation but arises due to the accounting assumptions differences so the many companies combine them together and show it under the total tax or under the provision for tax so it is necessary to understand the total composition of the tax shown in the income statement because part of it may be current tax and part may be deferred tax. Let us take an example to understand that. Suppose this balance sheet is given. There is an opening balance sheet which is already having uh, the assets and the corresponding liabilities. Some transactions have already been entered but we stopped at the profit before tax and um, the cash flow transactions corresponding transactions have already been entered 
but the balance sheet is not yet tallying now because we have not yet paid the tax so therefore balance sheet is not complete but before we calculate the tax it is necessary to calculate the tax prepare the tax statement and to prepare the tax statement let us take these assumptions number one for accounting we, we charge 10 percent depreciation you can see that but it says 10 percent because the cost of the plant is 150,000 whereas the depreciation for accounting was 15,000 so accounting depreciation is 10 percent SLM and uh, so 15,000 but it says for taxation we are going to take 25 percent depreciation and that is on a reducing balance method one more information is given that the wheeling charge and income which this company has received 15,000 is fully exempt from the tax so let us prepare the tax statement then understand the taxable profit so the sales is same as the income statement or accounting profit no wheeling charge because that is an exempted income not taxable cost of the goods sold in this case cost of the power is same the expenses incurred are also same let us call that OPEX and so operating expense for the tax is same as the operating expense for accounting however depreciation will be charged at 25 percent on the cost of the asset and interest is same as what is there in the income statement so the total of expenses for tax purpose is not same as the total of the expenses for accounting purpose which is so the taxable profit is 150 minus 104,500 whereas the accounting profit was 83,500 so according to the accounting standard whenever PBT is not same as taxable profit the tax will be calculated on the taxable profit so the tax to be paid in the current year is the current tax which has to be shown in the income statement and the current tax let us assume that we paid that money so the current tax is coming from the tax statement and the taxable profit is not same as the accounting profit because of two items we can see that there is a wheeling charge which is exempted which is exempted and there is a depreciation the depreciation for accounting was calculated at 15 at uh, 10 percent whereas the depreciation for uh, for taxation has been calculated as 25 percent so the accounting profit here is not same as AP is not same as TP due to the timing difference due to the timing difference that is depreciation that is depreciation and um, and due to the permanent difference and due to the permanent difference due to the permanent difference which is the exempted wheeling charges wheeling charges and the amount of depreciation difference is 37,500 minus 15 and the amount of wheeling charge is 15,000 incomes are less to the extent of 15,000 so the accounting profit is not same as the tax profit because of these reasons and one is the timing difference which is because of the accounting assumptions the other is the permanent difference which is because of the the tax policies that the wheeling charge will be exempted from the taxable income and whenever the tax profit is not same as accounting profit the income statement has to show the current tax and the current tax is calculated 
on the basis of the tax statement and has to show the uh, deferred tax. Deferred tax is the difference between the accounting profit and tax profit arising out of the timing difference, so which is 6750. But if you see the income statement, the expense has shown is CT plus DT, but the tax paid is 13,600, so there is a deferred tax liability of 6,750. So the tax cash in hand is because all transactions done now, so cash in hand will appear in the balance sheet. The profit after tax is 62,000, which is added to the equity. The deferred tax comes from the income statement, so the summation of uh, the summation of the income statement, uh, the sources side, will be sum of all the sources which are there on the balance sheet to 69,000, and the summation of the assets, the summation of the assets is 109 plus 25 plus 135, so the balance sheet tallies. But the important point to be observed is about the deferred tax liabilities, and the deferred tax is calculated as a timing difference, and the current tax is shown from the income statement. So whenever the tax profit is not same as the accounting profit, it is necessary to find out the difference between accounting profit and tax profit and that is because of the timing difference and because of the because of the permanent differences if you see this this is called timing difference because over a period of time the total depreciation in both will be same but this is called permanent difference because this wheeling charge will not be taxed at all thank you very much